thinking in my head, I told him, I said, man, Jimmy Hendrix never freestyled. Bob Marley never freestyled. And, 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 and I know that's the level of music uh, where, I'm, where I'm going with my whole thing next year, 2013. I'm going to leave it up to Free Band Game, my new artists and, and real rappers who do the rapping thing and then do what other rappers do. I ain't into the fans and I set trends, you know what I'm saying? It's a lifestyle for me. Mm -hmm. It's not no man I'm finna just put on. I never was a dude with a backpack with a bunch of notebooks in my bag. If I had a backpack on my bag, it had money in it or it had something <laughs> illegal in it. It didn't have no books or nothing. I ain't even knocking that life. Mm -hmm. But that just never was my life. I was never a backpacker. I was a hustler from the beginning. I was born a hustler. So, you know what I mean? So you never battled anybody or anything? Else? I ain't never battled. I never did it. I'm a hustler. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm a CEO. I'm a brand. I'm a, I'm a marketing genius. I'm a lifestyle. I'm a coach. It come when I come, when I come. I'm coming with a whole, the world, international swag. But it started organically from the bottom, the root, from the corner, running the cars, getting this money. I know how to flip a nick. I know how to flip five dollars and make it into five thousand. I turned five thousand into a half a million. Then I made that into five million. I know I took every step it was to do when it comes to business and make the right moves for my lifestyle and the life that I want to live. From being on the block to waking up in a crack house to waking up in a suite and somewhere in New York City. You know what I'm saying? I seen every step of the way and I mastered every step. And I ain't take nothing for granted, you know what I'm saying? And I lived and I learned with no regrets. And now I'm right here with you with this interview and doing it my way, you feel me? And it's just the only way I know how to do it because that's the way that got me right here, hmm. you know what I mean? And I just want to be in another zone because I'm, I'm most comfortable in the studio, in the booth. When I do interviews, it really not come not in my comfort zone. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You comfortable because this is what you do. You do interviews, so mm -hmm. you got me all out of my zone right now. Mm -hmm. I'm most comfortable inside that lab with the with the drums kicking and snares in my ear. Do you go every day? Pretty I much. I go every day. Every day. Every single day. And how long has that been going on? Every three years. Three straight. years. Three years straight. Is, is is that when you really got serious? Three years ago? Yeah. I mean, like. Okay, for I ain't fucking around. Like this is really my full time career. Three years ago, nah, it was just man. I was so involved in the street. You know what I'm saying? I had so like one foot in, one foot out. I wasn't taking it real serious because you know you can make some money in the streets, and I know I'm not going to go in the, the rap game and get ten thousand a show starting off. So it was for me hard for me to take the twenty five hundred for a show, do a free show when I was getting money, doing something else. From the beginning, I already been getting money since I was a teenager. Uh -huh. So for you to make me not get money, and I know that I need this money because this rapping, it, it, it take a long time for it to start paying off. But I got bills because I don't have options to to fall back on. I don't have no job. You know what I'm saying? So I had I had to just uh, to just really wash my hands and just focus in on music and just find that zone and just give everything up completely. Was there was there something that happened? Did, did, did something was there a tragedy around you saying okay? It wasn't I really a tragedy. It's just man, I lived that way for the, all my life. For all my life, I lived in the streets. You know what I'm saying? That's where I come from. That's my background. And I just wanted something different. I was like, man, I seen dudes going to jail. My dude getting life, and this dude going this way, and such and such get killed and this, this and you still living life you ain't exempt for nothing but at the same time i wanted to at least today i know i tried to do something different than what i did for all my whole life i did it that way every day i was like man i'm not doing that one more year i woke up every single day just thinking about the worst situation it is to do what was the what was the worst thing that happened while you were living like that I've been shot i've been everything you've been shot yeah i've been shot but at the end of the day well, you know where, where did you get shot I shot in my hand. In your hand? Yeah, when I was a teenager. But then I lived from there. I was a beast after that. After I get shot, I went, I went mentally just like, I was on some live by the day then, because I was like, man, I could have died. And I was on a kid, I was still 17. And then I was just thinking my whole mentality, man, I don't care what I do to nobody else after that. And then it just took me a while to change my whole thoughts. Because I was a whole nother person. The person I was now is not the person that I'm sitting right here talking to you now. It was a way, it was like an animal. An animal just, that just didn't have no love for nobody. You know what I'm saying? I had to find my emotions. I'm still trying to find my, my emotions and trying to tell people thank you and just the love. Trying to find a new way of love because it just, 
you gotta really love me unconditional because I come with so much with me. I believe everybody will turn on you at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. And that, that's just how I grow up. And that's just what I've been living with and I've been dealing with. So me being in this music and you got good people that you come and connect with, you come in contact with through music. And you like, man, how do I take on this relationship? When you with this street mentality, this mind, like, man, they ain't doing this shit for some reason. It is, it is. It's always a motive in the back of your head of why they doing it. So you treat people with a cold shoulder. And it's just, that's how I grow up, you know what I'm saying? Talking to junkies in the kind of way. And just like my tone of voice be crazy sometimes. My mentality, my attitude, because all my life when I was a baby, we've been talking to Jays and just don't treat people with respect, you know what I'm saying? They're just the life in the streets. You don't respect nobody. You walk past an old lady, just anything. You just, you don't have no love for nobody. You know what I mean? You don't open doors for girls where I'm from. Or just do this and do that. You know what I mean? Like, eat a certain kind of way. And your mannerism is different when you come from the block in the streets and you grow up in a house where you got drug dealers that you can look right at. And, and they're your uncles and your uncle and your your uncle in jail, your grandma that went to jail, and the granddad of hustling. My only person that was good was my mama, so she tried to clean me up. But my reality was that everything around me.